What's up guys and welcome to another video. I'm about to get ready to wake up and react to another episode of Hell's Paradise. Uh, episode 5 run? Yep. Uh, sorry. Last time there was a lot of, um, murder. Um, and deals to be made. Killing a lot of monsters, and then, um, that girl, Shinobi, I forgot her name, I wrote it down, uh, Yuzuriha, um, she made a deal with Gabimaru, so, they're gonna work together for now, and then, like, until the end, and then, they will, um, stab each other in the back, probably, <laughs> um, and then you get the backstory on um, Bakugo's lookalike, the bandit and his brother. His brother infiltrated the executioners. Um, and they both, I don't know, kind of just have the mindset of like, um, well, I guess more so like the Bakugo lookalike, um, of like, you, or I'm my own god essentially like i'm not gonna live by anyone else's rules or morals or ethics or anything like i'm going to follow my own code so because he kind of like he's like what gives you the right to tell me what to do what makes you superior right um so yeah i feel like that's everything so far so yeah anyway let's jump into it guys Mmm, that's what happened. I'm like, why'd she pass out? For no reason. <laughs> He's just chilling. Like, you don't gotta worry about me. Mm. Yeah, like, there's a lot of questions. I'd be having. Uh, mm. <laughs> <うん。ちゃんとないんだ。笑> but also stupid, yeah. Yes, I agree. Very artificial. Oh my god, Gabimaru! That face, bro, that he just made. That's just like this newfound. I don't know, like just fire. I'm just lit under his ass. He's just like, he's raring to go. Like it just motivated him even more. Oof. Oh, bro. Is that her fault? Yeah, like she probably does have a Okay, that you took it too far now. Hmm? Yeah, like she's like. Mm. Are you just gonna run away? 
that's not gonna work. You're both gonna be executed. Are you stupid? You should not go home. I'll tell you that right now. You need to go to some different land. Oh, you're both dead. You're both dead. Oh, thank God it's a shipwreck. Because if there was someone on that ship... Damn, that's not a good sign. Oh, no. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> Who is that? What is that, I should say? Mm -hmm. Play dead. Oh, never mind. Fighting our way out. Mm, maybe you should start. For what? What did you do? They all keep saying that. Like, is this really an island where you guys are receiving divine punishment. It's kind of making me question it because they keep saying it so much. Right, Thought that was a woman. So this is your divine punishment for what bringing them all there, getting your people slaughtered. <laughs> Oh. I remember him. Yep. I don't know his name. Kisho, I guess. Yeah, that thing might infect you. Just don't. Oh, oh fuck me. Oh. I don't know how you're getting out of this situation, bro. I really don't. Run. Oh. No, you need to work together. That's probably your best chance. You should live. You don't deserve to die for what happened. Did you kill them? No. That's not your fault. Did you know they were going to kill them? No. If you knew, you wouldn't have brought them there. There's no way. I like his voice, like the voice actor. He sounds so familiar too. He pl who else does he play? Of course you don't. Fight. I know that voice actor. I just don't know who it is. I, I can't think of it right now. It's that freaking Shogun's fault, not yours. I just- I wanted to say that earlier. 
Not getting out of here unless you <laughs> drink that elixir. Then you can survive all of those attacks. Woman, bat, I, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> You're hilarious. Oh my gosh. Making fun of him. Man, this island is so deadly, but it's so beautiful. Stop saying shit like that. Stop saying that. It's not about her gender or her sex. I do sort of agree with him so far, though, that, like, it doesn't seem like she's cut out for this island. I feel like it's a bit much for her. But you never know. This might... Gorgeous. Stronger. Sagiri. This whole experience. These two, bro. I really hope a romance doesn't brew be between them. Hmm. Oh my god, he's so cute! <laughs> oh. Daisuke. そういうことが見極め当たる。she did almost kill him he said multiple times but then it seems like ever since she got here though that's gone out the window something's i think probably because he's shaken her her oh, sorry i don't want to talk over their whole emotional scene here oh so oh my god um but that's why like i hesitated on agreeing with the guy or not is like it doesn't agree with i don't agree with the whole gender thing but aside from that is like she does seem to be struggling a lot while she's been here or since she's been here but before that she did almost kill him a few times um, but again, like, it just seems like since, I feel like since she's known him, or gotten to know him a little more, it's, I think she's struggling more mentally, and thus, like, her skills, like, because she's so muddled up here, she can't really focus on, like, her fights as well. Um, it's distracting, and her resolve is just kind of, I don't know, shaken a bit, maybe? Or she's just not as confident in who she is or why she's doing things or if she's capable of what she's trying to do. Um, I think because of him. And yeah, he's just kind of like shaking her to her core on like and just really challenging um, I think the way that she's thought about things, her perspectives on things on people, on herself, so, because, she's, yeah, she's clearly capable, 
Like, again, he said he, she's almost killed him a few times. Like, it's close calls. So, so he's saying she's strong? I'm gonna take your word for it, Gabi Maru. What the fuck do I know? <laughs> That's true. お役目の規則なら気にするな。もはやこれは私の生き方に関わる問題です。なおのこと <笑> ここで帰っては See me, me, not my gender, not my. S What you get? <laughs> oh, with all your sexist bullshit. Oh, man. He was pissing me off with that. You're a woman. You're a. I mean, I'm sure it annoyed everybody who watched this, but um, <clears throat> I don't really have much to add, though. Uh, man, it's the second time. You know, I woke up today. And it tap, I always tap my phone right when I wake up to see what time it is. And it's at 11.11. And then my phone just lit up now from a notification. And I looked over and it said, well, it's 1.11. I'm just like, oh, what's going on? That's twice today. Let's see if it happens one more time later. Three times. That's that's a sign for something. I don't know what it is. But <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, I do think... Um, I don't know. I don't even know where to start. Damn. Let me rewind this and read what she said again. I want to decide how I'll live for myself. Uh, yes. I want to decide how I'll live for myself. No one else deciding it for me. And not being decided for me by my, my sex or my gender. You know? Like... I that shouldn't matter. <laughs> She's so it, the other girl said it too. I forgot her name. Um uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste time going back. Just the girl who oh, fuck, yes I will. Fuck me. Narugai. So Sagidi and uh Narugai. So Narugai said, um, you know, you um samurai always always um i don't know what she said like m noticing the stupid things or like um worrying about or fixating on like stupid things um 
it's like yeah like this doesn't matter it doesn't matter that shouldn't have any bearing or effect on what who i am like what i decide to do with my life or want to do with my life and it it it, it in this time you know clearly obviously we all know it's not as progressive as it is now but it there yeah it's you see both of these women like dealing with the same thing but then you also see an example of a woman uh what's her name um yuzuriha where she's kind of like confident regardless of her being a woman like she just lives life how she wants so like no hesitation she just i guess new guy as well doesn't well i don't know it doesn't seem like she was intentionally hiding that she was a woman she didn't go out of her way to correct him either so i don't know how you want to interpret that maybe again i guess it's just because like to her it's just like whatever guy girl i don't really give a shit it doesn't matter to me so um but yeah so this whole episode really felt hyper focused on like what it's like to be a woman in this time and um it was nice to see her at the end just be like, fuck it, bro. I'm going to live life how I want. I'm so over you. I'm done. with." And she had to deal with it from her dad, too. Like, this... I feel bad for her. Like, stuck between, you know, I live as his daughter, and then people look down on me because I'm this executioner's daughter, and he's a murderer. But then if I want to be an executioner as well... Which, I guess, comes with some respect from, I guess, her peers. Um, she's not really respected because she's a woman. So, you're weak. This isn't what a woman should be doing. You should be at home, at the village, having children. Uh, okay. Um, she was, in my interpretation, and I could be way wrong, but it's like, maybe by being an executioner, which... It's like contradictory to what she was experiencing in the village so I understand that but in her mind maybe being an executioner on her own in her own strength in her own right I'll earn some respect here it's a respectable profession to some people um, like I said in the village not so much but um anyway or at least not amongst the children because I'm sure your dad was killing some of their parents or something I don't know maybe I'm wrong but um, it's not like your clan's untouchable. If they do something wrong, they're going to be executed. Or even if they didn't do something wrong. Because your guy didn't do anything wrong. They just wanted to live... Well, I guess politics is complicated. Um, but in my mind, they didn't do anything wrong. They didn't want to live amongst the, the shogun and his people and living under his rules and... Or his rule. Um... But had to be executed because they were insurrectionists. Okay. They had no intentions of... Whatever. Anyway. Getting distracted here, but... um, So I get it where she's coming from. It's just like it felt like a lose-lose situation to her. She's just like, I'm not respected by anyone. And she's like, you know what? Fuck you and what you think. Which is a mentality I think we all need to adopt more. Me, especially me. Of just, I don't care what you think about me. I'm going to live my life the way I want to live my life. And if you don't like it, bye. There's the door. Like, you don't need to be a part of my life. You don't need to watch it. You don't need to fucking like it. This has nothing to do with you. And it's not about you. It's about me. Like, mm, it's your life. I know mean, it's so cliche, but it's like, you have one life. Live it, bitch. Live it the way you want to live it. And it was really nice to see Gabi Maru, like, just giving her that credit. Like, you're stronger than you think you are. And you're capable of more than you think you are. Giving her, I think, that, like, extra, like, push to <laughs> adopt that fuck it mentality. <laughs> but anyway. Okay, so. <sighs> that was my takeaway from the episode, though. It was a good episode. It's a good ep It's The show's good every week, but I'm just saying. It was a good episode. <laughs> anyway. um, I'll wrap it up. 
and do Yamada next because I don't know if Heavenly Delusion is out yet. We'll have to see. But yeah, anyway, remember to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. The link for that's in the description below, so please check that out and sign up to support the channel. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here, guys, and I will catch you in the next reaction.